Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me. Stampin' Sue Creates here. Going to uh, do another uh, machine embroidery video. <clears throat> now I just finished um, a video showing you how to take your file that you purchase. In this case, it was one from Etsy and to put it on a thumb drive. So if you're interested in how to do that, it's a not too long video, pretty quick video showing you how I do it. You know, I don't know, there could be other ways other people do it, but that's how I do it. So I already uploaded, I guess that's what you call it. My cat's here like pawing at me. I don't know what her problem is. Uh, and she's now hitting the stand that you're all watching on. Um, so I have it loaded on here and it's a new design. I haven't stitched it out yet. And it's a uh, towel design. I'm into towels lately, I'm telling you. So from start to finish, uh, let's go ahead and do this. So this design is actually a four by four design. So I could use my four by four hoop. I don't want to go and dig it out. So I'm just going to use my five by seven hoop and I have a tear away stabilizer. I should have two pieces here. If I don't, I got to grab another one. It feels kind of thick. Let me grab another sheet. So I've had questions as well as to the stabilizer I use. Um, I purchased this from Amazon and I really should get my own link. I say that in every video. And this is the one that I'm currently using. It's a cutaway embroidery stabilizer. You get a hundred pieces in here and it's a, if it's a five by seven hoop and it says new. And it's by HBI Products. And I've been using this and it works well. The great thing about using one that is um, pre-cut for you is that it takes all the work out of, you know, having to measure and do what. So I know a lot of you may be saying, well, you know, you're using up all that stabilizer and it really is thick. Huh. I didn't realize how thick it was. But I'm still going to use two. I'm going to use two because of all the dense stitches. So I want to go ahead and hoop my stabilizer. And um, I may have to unscrew, well, maybe not. So you want to make sure it's nice and tight. Hear that? I'm going to tighten this up because it has to be tight like a drum. And just making sure. Okay, so hear that? That's what you want. So um, I'm going to do a floating technique with this. And uh, by using floating technique, I'm going to put my towel right on top of here. But um, in order to keep my towel to stay on here, but not permanently, I'm going to use this uh, 505 temporary adhesive. And this is safe to use in your uh, sewing and aborting machine. So I'm just going to spray that onto my stabilizer. I'm not sure if you can see that, but um, it, it's cool still, so you know that's how it's wet, but it'll dry, and you hear that? Makes it tacky. All right, so um, I did a, um, a towel the other day, and um, I'm upside down. Oh, and part of this is torn off. So um, these are the towels that I got from Amazon, and they're really nice. This little bag is nice, too, for keeping things. It has a zipper top on it. So, um, little things in life, right? So here's my towel and, um, I do love these towels and I did purchase some more. As a matter of fact, I thought they were coming yesterday, but they weren't delivered. Huh? Um, I did purchase more of these because I really love that there's like not a stripe going through here and they have this real nice border down the bottom. So the other ones I ordered were a, I think it was a six pack and you got three white and three gray. So I figured gray is kind of a neutral color, right? Okay, now I'm not sure how this design is going to load on the machine. So um, before we go any further, let's go ahead on over to the embroidery machine. And um, I mean, this is start to finish, people, start to finish. So here is my uh, Brother Inovus Essence machine. And we're going to go ahead and um, get my USB drive. And um, let me put it into the machine and turn it on. Let 
Okay, here's a real pretty screen. It's very fancy. So you touch your screen and it's gonna say the carrier of the embroidery unit will move. Keep your hands, etc., away from the carriage. So click okay. And it just gets itself set up. The little carriage thing will move. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into embroidery and I'm gonna go into this symbol here. I'm gonna find my design that I wanna use. Oh, and there it is, the first one. Okay, so here it shows, you see the different little, um, oh, my mind's not working, little, um, the little frames for the um, hoops. It's showing you uh, three are white and one is a grayish color. What that shows you is this will accommodate the smallest hoop, that little gray one that's highlighted. That's the one it will fit, and that is the 4x4 hoop. So isn't that fabulous? So those of you with a small 4x4 machines, you can still do this. So the embroidery design is going up and down. I mean, you certainly can turn it any which way you want. And um, so I was just wondering which way it was going to do it, and I should have figured it was that way. Okay, so let's just go back to our hoop now. And sorry for all the mess on my desk. I was just watching the birds out the window. Um, we were trimming down some trees not too long ago. And uh, some of the toppers, you know, I'm on the second floor, so the toppers I can see. I actually counted six birds on one branch. Like, I guess, you know, that's what they do. <clears throat> and I mean, the branch wasn't even moving, so they're like, those little birds must weigh hardly anything. I was waiting for like the branch to like really bend, but it didn't. Okay, okay, back to why why we're here. I think you moved a little bit. So you could see kind of out the window. All right, so we're gonna put our towel right sides together and our design is gonna go up and down. So I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna use the little lines on the hoop to align this up. So I'm gonna go down. Sorry if you're moving because my cat thinks that she has to sniff the holder. I'm going to use those lines to align up the top and the bottom and press that down and then open up my towel and then press down the rest. So what that does is that hoops my towel. I have this whole area, although my design isn't going to go there, but um, that's my area where I'm going to be stitching. And um, I decided I'm gonna use this pink thread. Um, this is the bathroom towel, and I thought it'd be nice to use the pink thread. And this way I'll have a nice tee on here and it will match in my uh, flamingo bathroom. If you missed that story, that's a whole other ball game, but <laughs> I'm into flamingos these days. All right, so let's go back to, oh my goodness, to our design, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to take my um, towel and I'm going to hoop this. It's another thing you want to be careful when you're deciding which way you're going to stitch out the design is um, so that your whatever you're stitching on, I don't care if you're doing a, a towel, a shirt, whatever, that you keep in mind which way your um, excess, like all of this is going to go. So, I mean, whether you want it here or you want it fluked over the other side, that could be important. And I don't know why that don't look like it's on here straight. I'll just double check. Always check twice. Yeah, it does. It must just be the way that it is. I mean, and it's a towel. And here's the, here's the thought on that. It's just a towel. You know, if it doesn't come out perfect, that's okay. Number one, no one is going to be criticizing and critiquing unless you point it out to them that there's something wrong. And what you can all, always do is flip your towel over and do the other end of it if you don't like that. Right? No worries. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my thread first. I have this dark green in from when I was doing the um, Christmas towel the other day. That's a, that's a fun stitch out. And that one was from Creative Fabrica. This design is from Etsy and it was just a couple dollars. 
and go back and watch um, <clears throat> the previous video I just uploaded and I go through the whole thing of the design and where I got it from and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm going to hit embroidery here. And there's my design. Now I want to see where that's going to fit on my hoop here. So I think I'm going to be a little too high, but I'm just going to do hit this little tracer. And I'm going to hit the tracer here. And it's going to show me where that's going to stitch out. Okay, I'm going to close this because I want to move it down a little bit. And I'm going to show you that in just a second once I decide that's where I want it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have quite a frog in my throat. Um, I think maybe a little further down. Let me try this and then I'll bring you all back. So this is nice. It's a nice lattice design. All right, maybe a little more. And I think this will this will be good. Okay, so let me bring you over here to show you what all was happening when you press that um, little square. I'm going to do it again. It's going to show you the actual area where it's going to stitch your design. So all four quarters and then the center. So I'm good with that. So here's my center. This is where the center of the design is going to be. I have this cute little, I think I got this from one of my uh, sewing friends in a swap. And um, I'm going to put the zero right where that's going to go. And I, it's an estimate. It's about seven and three quarters. So then I'm going to go on this direction. And I'm going to put that right about where that's going to stitch out. And, and I know this is not laying flat. But um, I'm thinking the whole towel is about 13 and some. So probably should have done this before the whole thing. Well, here it's going to show 14 with this little bend. Um, so I'm going to go to the left and let's see how far from that needle up the hill here. <laughs> It looks about four and a half inches. But again, don't forget, we got that little thing there. All right. Let's go in the center. I apologize for hitting you. It's kind of awkward how to go ahead and do this. So about seven and a little like my measuring seven and a little. All right, so that looks good to me. And if it's not, again, it's just a towel. So what we wanna do is before we begin stitching, I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. Okay. Um, okay, so there's my design. Um, we want to put over a um, um, clear stabilizer, okay? because I'm probably gonna have to turn off my ceiling fan again because we because of the fact that this is a towel one it has this dense this, this dense um, texture on here what will happen is let me just turn off my ceiling fan what will happen is the design will get kind of absorbed into the towel so by putting this stabilizer on top, and this is a wash away stabilizer, so when you're done, it'll kind of like tear off and you can just use a little water and it just dissolves. By putting this here, this is gonna protect the stitches from getting absorbed down into the design, okay? So let's see, this is, um, it shows two colors. Um, well, I thought it was only one color, but it shows two. 
So let's see. So wait, let me, let me change my mind then on the colors. Um, I guess we should have checked all that out first. So it's shown like a dark color and a light color. So let me get a, a little bit lighter, but not too light pink. One thing I do have is a lot of thread. You have a lot of thread. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna have enough on it as well. So I'm just kind of looking. That might be a little too light. Um, let's see. I think this one will be good. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and unthread that because the first color is the lighter pink. And then the second color. So this is 12 minutes to stitch out, which isn't bad. I'm going to cut my thread from the top and pull it out from the bottom. And I'm going to re-thread with this lighter pink color. And this is a bro thread. It's 085, if you're wondering. Let's go ahead and re-thread this. And I just put in a new needle before I started the other towel, so I should be good. I like to change my needles, not too often. Let me grab that little thread piece. Not too often, but um, depending on how many things I've been stitching. Okay, so it's gonna start off my design with the light color. This is a nice design. It's kind of like a little bit of a lattice -y design. Probably could have moved the design over a little bit more to the left, but we'll see. Too late now, but is again just a towel. So it's kind of doing that background with the lattice look. Now again, it's only doing the one side, so once we do the other side, then it you know it'll it'll look much better. So these would make great gifts. You know, Christmas is coming. You're always looking for something. Um, maybe someone that just got married. You can um, make them a nice set of embroidered towels. So while that's stitching, I know you, a lot of you like my chit chat. If you don't, no worries. You can just go ahead and fast forward. Um, but um, let me tell you about my day so far. Is um, the sun is shining? It's a beautiful day. So Friday, when I got home from work, I uh, I had gone. Oh, before I came home from work, I'd gone to Kohl's. I don't know how many of you have a Kohl's in your area, but I purchased something from Amazon. Um, it was actually a uh, supposed to be a, a standing um, dryer for clothes, and I bought it in the intention of using it at a craft show I did last weekend, which I did use it. And I'll tell you, if that thing is supposed to hold towels and whatnot, it could barely hold my baby bibs without being cockeyed. So I um, ended up wrapping it back up and I'm returning it to Amazon. I mean, I think the thing was like 30 some dollars and I'm like, no, nah, you never use that again because it would never even hold a towel if I had to. So um, in my local Kohl's, you can take your Amazon items back to return. And when I took it back to return it, um, the girl said, well, you know, attached is a 25% off coupon that you can use today only. And I was like, oh, well, that's nice. So I also had an email that I got $5 in Kohl's cash. No idea why, I have not shopped in Kohl's in a while, but I do have one of their cards. 
so I thought, well, let me go check out the towels, you know, because, hey, I'm into towels. See, that looks better now that it's doing the left-hand side. It's, it's right in the center. So um, I was looking, well, you know, they have towels that go up to, like, hand towels, up to, like, 15 almost $20 a towel. Well, you know, I, I'm not buying those. So here down the end, they had these other towels on sale, and I think they were $2.99 for a um, towel. And I thought, wow, that's a good price. That was on sale. And I thought between my 25% off and my other $5, I'm going to, well, they had four white towels. That's all they had as far as white hand towels. So I got them. Well, they ended up costing me only $1.80 a towel. Like, what? You know, like, really? If they had more, I'd be, I probably would have got more. And um, when I got home, I'm like, well, it, uh, it's starting to heat up again here in Pennsylvania. I mean, we had about a week where the windows were open. It was beautiful. Well, you know, it was up to almost 90 degrees. So I turned on my, I have those split system air conditioners, one upstairs and one down. And I just realized I forgot my microphone again. So I hope y'all can hear me. I um, went ahead and uh, turned that air conditioner on and I was thinking like, wow, it feels like it's getting hotter in here. Went upstairs, got changed out of my scrubs back down and it it was instead of it being like going down in temperature it definitely was going up so I turned it off turned it back on you know and uh, of course it was like hot air blowing out I thought oh no so I was planning this weekend to clean my carpets and thinking you know it's going to be a good time to do that so I thought no way so I put in a call to my son you know that something's up with the downstairs air conditioner so he said okay he'll you know he'll have to check it out maybe it needs a good cleaning or something like that okay fine so man it was hot but my upstairs one was working so I came up here and I crafted instead right you make uh, lemonade out of lemons right well um I happen to be sitting at the uh, dining room table having a cup of coffee Friday night and uh, you know I hit my my coffee cup knock it over coffee spills all over the table onto the chair onto the carpet the throw carpet underneath the dining room table so needless to say 9 30 at night there I was cleaning my carpets and it was hot and it was humid now that I'm cleaning carpets but I did them and I thought you know what so I did them, whatever, you know, go take a shower and go to bed. And uh, so I did. So the next day, um, I was up early in the morning, time to change the colors. So now we'll put that other one on. I really like the pink. I think it looks cute, really cute. So um, come to the next day, which thankfully the one upstairs, which is new. I just got that one upstairs, the split system unit. Um got up early so I can kind of clean up the mess and run the sweeper. The carpets were dry, of course. I left the ceiling fans on overnight. And, uh, okay, well now we're gonna do the outline stitch. That didn't go through the, uh, no, it didn't. Let's try this again. Under there. Oops, what the heck? There we go. Let me get the scissors and pull that out the back. I like to have that so it pulls out the back. All right. So I was up at 5, 5 o'clock, 5.30. The dog had to go out and did all my running the sweepers, cleaned the steps, did all that, and then kind of went back to bed. You ever do that? It's a Saturday, you know, so I did. So here, um, about mid-morning, uh, he texted and he said, you know, he got done what he was doing, so he'd be able to come over and take a look at it. So he came over, and uh, again, it was starting to heat up, but still not too bad yet. And uh, so he he was out there for a while in the house. He did cleaning. He cleaned the outside, you know, took out the um, filters, cleaned the inside, did all that. And then he said, well... He thinks it might be this one part. He's not sure, but he's, he's going to go and get the part and come back. So he came back, and sure enough, it was that. It was um, 
like a five dollar part he said or some kind of what did he call that um i can't think of what it was but it was something very simple so we're back in business now with our air conditioning so i did have it running yesterday and uh everything is great with it and i'll tell you nothing like having air conditioning because i was telling him um my misfit market came while he was here and so i unpacked that and cleaned all the fruit so we had some watermelon and strawberries when he was done and um and off he went on his way but i was telling him i remember when i was a kid and i mean those of you may remember as well we didn't have the luxury of air conditioning right we we had fans I don't even know half the time if we had screens in the window because I remember like sleeping at night and hearing buzzing in my ear, you know, with mosquitoes. I'm sure we had screens, but you know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, what? sitting there yesterday after I showered and I was moving some furniture around and things like that, I was thinking like, wow, how did I live all those years without air conditioning? Like we really are a spoiled bunch of... Um, Americans here that you know I'm sure not everywhere they have air conditioning and um, I don't know I, I just couldn't do it I just couldn't do it because I was like the whole back of my head I sweat a lot you know when I do a couple things I'm like sweating it's just my nature it's in the family genes but uh, look how pretty this is coming out I hope you can see that bring me a little closer see how pretty that is so anyhow, I, I'm very grateful for having him. Oh, a resistor or something. That's what I think he said it was, a resistor. So very thankful for, for him being able to fix things like that and be able to do those things for me. Because I'm sure it probably would have cost me like $200, $300 if I had to call somebody. First, you have to wait until they're available. And um, I'm sure they wouldn't have just, you know, said, oh, it was a $5 part, no biggie, you know. So very grateful for that. But um, I didn't get any crafting done yesterday. I didn't come up to the craft room. I've been working on a diamond painting. I think I mentioned that in another video. And I uh, kind of have it set up on like one of those little folding tables downstairs. And, and I don't know, it was just wiped out from the night before. And I just thought, you know what? Nobody's gonna care if anything's cleaned or not. I did do laundry, I changed my sheets, washed all my bedding, but boy, I'll tell you, um, when I was washing all the sheets, there's a, a blanket that was in there, and for some reason, my washer like did not drain a lot of the water out of that blanket, and it was like a big, hot, thick mess. So I had to run the dryer a few times. I mean, this is one of those times when you wish you had a clothesline, and granted, that little, clothesline thing that I bought would have never held this blanket so um finally this morning you know I checked it again and it was dry enough that I could you know fold it and put it away but I did get the sheets changed and I mean I cleaned all the carpets the night before so I felt I was productive so I thought this morning you know what I'm going to come up and I'm going to pop up a couple videos for you guys and I got this design and I was anxious to see how it is. I'm telling you, I absolutely love, love, love this design. I think it is absolutely beautiful. And to think it only takes 12 minutes, it's 8,118 stitches. And this four by four size is perfect for this hand towel. Now I think if I was doing regular towels too, like a bath towel, I think I would still use the same size design. They do have, different designs um, which you, you had to purchase separately so you but you do get the whole alphabet in the 4x4 design and I think it's perfect it's absolutely beautiful love it love this satin stitch pulling out the pink I think it's going to be perfect in my bathroom so yeah I kind of get um, hooked if I start doing like one design or something or working on like towels. Now I'm like hooked to do towels. So I think uh, with those other four towels that I got from Kohl's, I think I'm gonna do some more Christmas designs on them. Uh, maybe today, I don't know. I still have to go take a shower yet. I'm still in my pajamas, but oh well. Nobody's gonna care, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is real pretty. So once this is done, then I'll show you what the next step is. 
after you finish your design and um, then you would have saw the process from when I purchased it on a previous video and put it on a USB and then took the USB put it on my embroidery machine and um, stitched out the design so it's like from beginning to end so I hope you like that and if you're watching and you haven't not yet subscribed please subscribe be sure to leave a, a comment down below and like and share give me a thumbs up by you doing subscribing and things like that that helps me to know that you're enjoying these videos and you want to see more videos and it also helps me a little bit in the advertising from YouTube that I get a couple dollars so that helps offset the cost of buying supplies designs things like that and I really do appreciate you so much for watching and subscribing and being part of my YouTube community and I still have to think of something to do for hitting my 4k subscribers I want to do a giveaway so that will be upcoming and there we are we are finished sewing so click OK I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna take it over to the desk and I can put my ceiling fan back on because I'll tell you a little ceiling fan makes a big difference in my craft room. Okay, let me bring you back over. My messy, messy desk. Oh, I don't want you to tip over, though. Let me point you down a little bit. Uh-oh. I think you're falling over. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, apologize for that. Why is it, like, falling over? Huh, I'll just put my foot on it. I'm gonna put my foot down, how about that? Okay, so here is the beautiful design. Let me see if I can, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful design, pretty tea. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull off the, this is the wash away stabilizer. And in here is still some stabilizer. So I'm not gonna pick that out. I'm just gonna go with a little uh, wet paintbrush where you can go with a Q-tip and that will come right out. So everybody wants to see the back, right? Here's the back. Back is just as pretty as the front. Love it. And, uh, oops, can't take my foot off that, I forgot. <laughs> so before I pull off the stabilizer, I'm just gonna cut these couple little threads, which is barely anything because you know we only had two colors. I think that's good. So let's go ahead and unhoop this. And so uh, those off to the side. Okay. So there it is out of the hoop. Not pretty. And we'll turn it over. So don't forget now we have two different um, layers of stabilizer. I'm just going to tear this away going along the outside. What is it? A tough tearaway. Probably could have only used one because this tearaway just seems so thick. I want to tear. There we go. able to um, use the strength of my hands today <laughs> but there we go okay so let's tear away this other layer now don't forget we did use that spray so it may stick a little bit to your towel but it'll come right off I think there is a grain to this tearaway stabilizer, but you know what? That's a good thing. And I could go back in and either trim around that or just kind of pick at that, you know, maybe wet it a little bit and um, I'm not gonna worry too much about the back. Number one, well, number one is it's my towel. So <laughs> I'm gonna cut away some of this excess. Just gonna go hanging in my bathroom. So, that's good for me. Good enough. All right, let's clean all that up. 
Let's bring our towel design. And uh, there it is. Look how pretty that is. It's nice, it's thick. It's definitely striking if I pull it back a little bit. Not too far though. So you can see it. So you can see how quick, easy, simple it is. You can make um, a little hand towel in less than 15 minutes, really, less than 15 minutes. So how great would this be for gifts for Christmas, for um, someone that maybe just got married, for you know shower gifts, you could very easily just fold this up. And this is probably how it's going to hang in my bathroom, like that. So if it is off center a little bit, just fold the one side a little bit more than the other and no one's going to know the difference so i hope you've enjoyed this video this i hope you have enjoyed this video if you do i'd love to hear what you think of this is this something that you think you'd be creating for your very own or as gifts and i want to thank you for joining me i hope you come back real soon i have a lot more fun upcoming videos you know holidays are coming who knows uh thinking of doing some hanging things for uh, holidays. Uh, last year I did a hanging boo for Halloween. I mean, I got a lot of things that I'd like to stitch out. So I'd like for you to come along the ride with me. So have a great day wherever you are and um, be safe out there. Happy stitching and we'll see you back here again real soon. Bye for now.